Hey everyone, my name is Kajal and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about studying masters at University of Delaware. Joining us today we have Sujal. Hey Sujal, can you introduce yourself? Hello everyone, my name is Sujal and I am from Jamshedpur, Jharkhand in India and currently I'm pursuing masters in robotics from University of Delaware. I'm in my fourth semester or my second year and I will be I will be graduating at the end of May. So, before starting my career as a robotics engineer at UD i was working as a robotics engineer or a mechanical design engineer in india and i worked with two different companies i was working with salina integrity which was recently there at shark tank india and i also worked with twasta who is credited for building concrete 3d printers like it's one of the first startups to build concrete 3d printers in india after that i decided that i should pursue my masters degree and hence i came to ud thank you for sharing that and you mentioned that now you're working for your masters at UD can you tell us a little bit more about the masters of science robotics program at university of delaware or uh, the masters in robotics program here at UD is a pretty new program and what they did like at UD was they just took some of the courses from mechanical engineering computer science electronics and they merged it in to create the robotics program here at UD there are benefits and there are some drawbacks because of this so the benefits that we faced was to create this program they didn't introduce new courses to the structure but they took some of the courses from the mechanical engineering program they took some courses from computer science and together they made it into the masters in robotics program so though it's a new program the course courses have already been are already there which were already taught as part of different programs so you can be assured that the professors are experienced in what they are teaching in that aspect another benefit that i noticed was since it's a fresh curriculum there is no hard and fast rule that you have to study these courses or you cannot skip these courses i can give a very good example like when i joined ud in 2021 all the list of electives that were there at ud were pretty less because those were the courses that were introduced from the university side but our program director dr panos he just told us that hey if you guys find a course which is relevant to robotics and if you feel this is something a robotics engineer should know and you want to study that course just let me know and i'll add, add that to the curriculum this year if you open the ud masters in robotics course catalog you'll see way more number of courses compared to what we had earlier so these 10 not 12 extra courses were introduced by students like me and it counts towards my credits now uh, to come complete you have to take around 6 required courses and the remaining 4 courses are elective courses so you have to do a total of 10 courses which are 3 credits each so in short you have to complete 30 credits to attain your masters degree at ud yeah. and does ud have option for thesis or projects or working with professors such as independent study yeah so that comes under the capstone project i'll say that at ud you can do a thesis or a non thesis option you can choose which ever one you want you do need to specify it in the beginning itself while getting the admission that's purely a decision which you make during your stay here at ud i can give my example itself that i had planned to do go for a masters thesis and uh, hence i thought that okay i'll approach the professors i'll see what projects are going on i found a project it was very good and then i decided that i'll go for a thesis but before entering the research area i thought hey why don't i experiment during the summers if i simply work in the lab if i'm able to do it or not during that time i was in contact with my professor every week we used to have meetings and then i understood that i don't think i should go for a thesis option because my research the results are not that good for a thesis so i simply converted it to an independent study of 3 credits and then i completed that project under the capstone project or you can say call it an independent study even if you go for an internship you can say that hey i learned a lot of things from my internship and it is totally relevant to what i am studying right now so can i gain some credits based on this internship it can be 3 credits or 6 credits and that still counts towards your 30 credits this being said like there is a very good chance that you can complete your masters early if you want yeah because you managed to complete credits before the end of 2 years so maybe you can yes. do it in 3 semesters that's like a year and a half all right since we were talking about professors and labs can you tell us a bit more about are there any robotics specific labs how easy it is to approach professors to work under them there are many robotics labs the lab which i was a part of was the human oriented robotics and control lab and they design robots which assist humans like prosthetics or physical therapy or stroke rehabilitation similarly there are many robotics fields which you can explore at ud 
there is the robotics and controls lab where you can explore robotics related to bipedal robotics walking robots inverted pendulum that research goes on regarding applied nonlinear control and that involves a lot of mathematics as well as a lot of engineering principles university of delaware ranks number 1 in the physical therapy in the entire usa that being said like there are a lot of robotics which happens towards physical therapy so designing of variable stiffness treadmills designing of prosthetics designing of artificial limbs other than that there is a lot of funding available if you go towards cancer research or making nanobots designing nanobots for cancer therapy for drug delivery to heal cancer for patients the general robotics labs are there where you can build mobile robots where you can build underwater vehicles where you can build drones where you can play with robotic arms where you can do brain wave robotics these cover like almost all the research areas and other than that there is a very good facility for autonomous vehicles as well for people still interested in that connected automated vehicles the autonomous systems lab where they design uh, where they work with autonomous vehicles and we have an entire smart city built in a lab a small miniature smart city scaled smart city where you can actually drive cars using joysticks and i see many students even having fun with that that's one of the most amazing things which i saw yeah that's yeah. really amazing to hear and thank you for sharing all of these different labs that exist now one other thing that you talked about was funding so for those of you who don't know when you come to the us and you're working with a professor with this ex- external funding they are able to spend money towards doing a particular research and they also hire students as assistants so you can basically have a graduate assistantship or a research assistantship or even a teaching assistantship if you're helping the professor teach the class and with this either your tuition fee gets waived or you get stipend which is salary or even get health insurance so does ud have these kind of options available for master students especially international master students the campus of university of delaware is filled with international students that being said like in our mechanical department there are a lot of uh, master student who do have scholarships from other places other than the university but as per it is uh, concerned about the funding from the university most of the funding is reserved for the phd student so only and only if a professor really likes like your research you can get a research assistantship or if the professor has some funding which he can i'll use the word which he can spare on a master student he'll offer you funding other than that the university does have a lot of portals where you can apply for scholarships and the professors are very supportive of scholarships assistantships externally not from the university so i have seen people applying for scholarships applying for assistantships fellowships outside ud but inside ud if you are coming as a master student don't keep your hopes up that you'll get a scholarship or a funding from ud in the mechanical engineering department so now since we're talking about work let's also talk about external work that's internships co-op and job search now one of the biggest factors when it comes to searching for internship and co-op is your job location so if you're close to the job there are higher chances of you getting internship because it can be converted to co-op now when i say co-op it basically means while you're studying you can also work internship is more during the summer or winter when you don't have your class classes going on co-op is when you have your classes going on and you're still working maybe 20 hours a week now for international students visa works a little differently so during summer internship you can work for up to 40 hours or even more depending on your university but when it comes to co-op it's usually restricted to 20 hours per week so that way you can also study and work now speaking for robotics what do you think of delaware location so i think we already had this brief discussion uh, regarding the location like location plays a very important role when it comes to internships co-op and job search and in my best experience i cannot say that delaware is the best location for robotics if you are in delaware if you are studying robotics i'll suggest that you can apply for jobs or internships outside of delaware most of the internships that i applied to were located towards the west coast or towards texas or boston aim for co-op and even for jobs as well so most of the companies 
that come for recruitment are from Delaware and they are not always interested in hiring robotics engineers. They, they, might, they might need industrial automation or automation controls engineers or controls engineers, systems engineer, but you cannot expect to find a company like Tesla hiring in Delaware. Yeah, that makes sense. So I went to University of Maryland, which was close to Delaware mm-hmm. and it was also close to DC, which was more about federal jobs. Similarly, New York is way more about fashion and Wall Street. But when it comes to robotics, you've got your hubs at Bay Area, Austin, Boston. So Delaware is not that great a location. That being said, as he rightly said, it doesn't mean you still cannot apply for internship. You can still apply for internship outside of Delaware. I'd like to add one more point to that. UD, as far as I, it is very good in research. So if you are applying for a PhD position or if you are planning to do a PhD in robotics or mechanical engineering, UD is the place to go for it. All the facilities, all the labs are built around that PhD program. But if you are planning to come to US as a master's student, study for two years and then start working in an industry, in that scenario, I'd suggest that the only positive aspect will be the fee structure. Other than that, the location won't be that preferable if you're coming just for a master's degree at UD. Yeah, makes sense. Since you mentioned fee structure, can you talk a little bit more about what the fee structure is like at UD or how it is a bit more beneficial compared to other universities? So from my personal experience, when I was a applying for universities. Fee structure was the deciding factor for me for selecting UD. I compared the fees per credit cost for all the universities based on location and based on the cost of living and considering everything. Newark where UD is situated, Newark, Delaware is a very cheap state you can say like the cost of living here is pretty less. Per month rental cost will be pretty less. Also the per credit cost that you pay at UD is around 970 or close to $1000. So you will be completing your 30 credit scores in close to you can say $30,000. If you compare it with the fee structure for other universities, it will almost be double of what UD is offering. In other universities, the fee structure will be was close to $1,800 per credit. So you ended up paying close to like completely double of what you are paying at UD. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Uh, also, one thing in US is when you go for public versus private universities, you will find that private universities tend to be a bit more expensive. And as you mm-hmm. mentioned, it's also about cost of living. So Delaware is one of those states which doesn't have any state tax. So again, it becomes mm-hmm. cheap cheaper when you're buying yeah. things yeah 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 yeah. i forgot to mention that delaware does not have state tax it's the first state so they don't they kept it tax-free all right let's talk about career in terms of the help you get from the university does the university have a career center or do they help you with resume reviews can you also talk about career fairs and if there's one or two career fair i think you already mentioned the kind of companies that come at career fair but anything else that you would like to add the career center at ud is pretty active they organize almost every Every month, either an OPT webinar, a CPT webinar, which is very useful for international students. They organize a lot of meetings with the recruiters. They pro- they plan a lot of events with the recruiters so that the recruiters can meet the students firsthand and they can share their like resume review sessions or profile review sessions. Or even if you have some doubts regarding your resume, whether it is up to date or not, you can simply book an appointment or you can simply do a walk-in to the career center and they'll, they'll teach you how to go forward or how what changes do you need to make in your resume and uh, it is very helpful i got a job offer last week and that was because of the career center yeah thank you that was again because of the career center so I applied through the university's job portal handshake and the company is low. It's in Delaware itself. The first interview happened at the career center itself. They not just helped me create my resume, but also they help you like approach the right companies, get you connected to the right recruiters. As far as it comes to career fairs, I'll suggest that since I mentioned earlier that most of the companies in Delaware are not looking out for robotics engineers. So most of the companies that you'll see in the career fairs will be hiring either automation engineers, controls engineers and systems engineer or mechanical engineers. Most of the companies will be hiring uh, those job positions. So they won't be hiring a robotics engineer specifically. But you are free to attend career fairs 
outside Delaware. Like some of my friends did, they attended some career fairs in Texas and they got a very good response. They attended some career fairs in Boston. They got a very good response. So you'll obviously have to travel in search of jobs if you are in at UD. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's actually a very good advice as well. Even when I was student, I used to go to conferences with job fairs because you get to speak with recruiters. You get to build a network. I know it's a little bit expensive, but it definitely pays off. Yeah, exactly. All right. So my last question is, as a student, student who has studied at UD, how would you talk about the pros and cons of studying at UD for someone who's thinking about going? In my perspective, the best thing that I found was, so I'm a very indecisive person and I know that. So I need a backup option or I need variety of things. Okay, if this goes wrong, I'll do that. If th- that goes wrong, I'll do this. If you are thinking that, okay, I want to go towards robotics, but again, consider this robotics is a very, very, very wide field. Everything and anything can come under robotics. So if you can have not made up your mind which field am i specifically good at is it artificial intelligence is it mechanical designing is it robotic arms then ud is definitely the place for you because the number of robotic labs and the number of robotic equipments that you will get used to or you will get exposed to will be something that will actually help you in deciding or help you in like trying out stuff so my project was in robotic arms but before that i started working with drones before that i started working with invented pendulums and then and at one point I was thinking should I go towards autonomous vehicles because UD has that facility and then I could explore I, I did a term project I took the course I understood okay this is not my cup of tea I should shift to something which is so you get to explore things you build up your resume with different robotics you get exposed to them then you learn that okay this is what I'm good at this is what I should be doing for the rest of my life so that that's one of the biggest pros which I found and other than that yeah the fee structure definitely helps because if you are coming to us a lot of things will change like the way you live the way you eat things you everything changes and with that the fee structure definitely plays a big role at ud since the fee structure was less i was able to focus more on my studies rather than my part-time work i was able to focus more on my studies and afford things at a cheaper price other than that the cons i'll suggest is the location because um delaware is a financial hub there are a lot of banks here there are mostly banks here the companies at delaware won't be hiring robotics engineers so if you are coming to delaware have that mindset that yeah i'll have to relocate once i complete my master yeah th- those are some really good points and thank you so much for sharing all of that also thank you so much for doing this interview and sharing your experience of studying at university of delaware i will drop his linkedin if anyone wants to reach out if you found this video helpful make sure to give it a like and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video. 